Hello YouTube, it's been a while since I made a video and uh, I just wanted to make this quick video which shows my hopefully soon to be available OLED track with my clock code and it's been running since yesterday about 4 p.m. so it's been almost 24 hours continuous uh, running with display on of course and I just wanted to try it how long the battery lasts on the clock and uh, I got a new watch face on my Z-Flays Thor S which I like very much and I just put it there for fun so it's actually about this guy here and uh, I made the third revision of the PCB which I will send off to PCB way to have them manufactured and then hopefully I can start selling these guys it took me way longer than anticipated but it will be worth it in the end that I can say so I'm not sure how long this is gonna last and it's all I started like a 1554 or something like that I took a picture because I knew I'm not gonna remember it right so it's almost 24 hours that's pretty pretty nice and while watching this uh, as you can see here you have the temperature and of course the OLED track has its own RTC chip and it's not one of those modules that I use on my clock which tend to be a little inaccurate due to the well the display is not accurate the temperature display the time is, is accurate but uh, they show like two, two to three degrees centigrade more than actual actually you can see there there is a clock and I'm in the same room obviously so this one shows 28.3 degrees and this one shows uh, 26 so this is accurate and I was thinking of making a new PCB with the 1.3 inch displays uh, for my clock and the GPS of course those will have then uh, replaceable batteries actually there is a 1220 I don't know if you can see it. it's behind oops I'm old. it's behind the red wire there in the middle uh, so the RTC module will be will have a replaceable battery not like those modules where you would have to desolder and to solder a new one on there um, what I was gonna say I forgot uh, well, it will be new PCB with the 1.3 inch display. It will include uh, the. It will have a single RTC chip like this OLED track here with a replaceable battery. And I might add other sensors to it too. I will add a micro SD card slot on it. And uh, what else? Well, it will be a combination. PCB for the clock and uh, the GPS cube slightly bigger it will use the single frame PCB frames single display frames that's that's what I was looking for and then it will also be able to go in a GoPro here I sold the last frame so this is why it's sitting there naked so I will have new frames soon hopefully and um, we'll go from there I have other products coming up also one of them is my where did I put the printout I can find it okay just hold on a second I will pause the video okay you didn't notice it yeah <laughs> so this will be my 
next product my stealth racer as I will call it it's a line following robot and this is the PCB and maybe you've seen it in my other video here it is um, earlier without all the rooted traces and it will have an OLED display and it will be flush mounted like my OLED scope PCB which is this guy here so and I will mount the motors underneath the PCB so it will have a slight slant and the display will be flush and uh, it will be nice product and that's coming up soon also and uh, anything else I can throw in here I will also have a six key programmable uh, macro keyboard with uh, those nice keys mechanical keys and because as you know might have seen my other video with the N Pro 60% uh, keyboard your I got them here highlighted in different color your arrow keys are on the keyboard you have two sets actually they will I, Y, K and L also but I will make a separate one a 6 key only and uh, which could be expanded to 9 keys I guess and I can just put it here and have them my small arrow keys uh, delete key because the delete key is here also and uh, I have one key empty which I could program to anything I want it will also have a uh, OLED display and of course uh, RGB backlight lighting so that's my next project I want to do all the parts already just have to design the PCB it will be uh, two or three stacked PCBs like like this on my OLED track so the sides will be open and uh, I might make a 3d case for it I don't know yet that I will see once the keyboard is finished so if you're interested on that you can uh, watch my videos and uh, see when it's coming up uh, well before I make this video too long uh, I guess the clock is still running on the last few milliamps I guess and uh, I might put in the link below how long it actually went anyhow thanks for watching and uh, take care everybody